guys, I'm going to talk really quick about um, some things I've learned in sponsoring and some leadership stuff. Um, but when for whenever you have a team member that might be discouraged or frustrated or whatever, some of the things um, you, whenever you're upset about something, like you're not necessarily looking for somebody to fix it because they know that you can't, as their sponsor, fix it. So that would be silly. So really all they're looking for from you is just to be validated. So try to empathize with them. Put yourself in their shoes without, you know, feeling negative and stuff. Put yourself in their shoes. Um, understand where they're coming from. Think about what you would do in that situation. Your immediate feelings and then your um, putting a clear vision on it. Uh, feelings. Does that make sense? Because... Excuse me. A lot of our natural impulses, our natural reactions are destructive. Um, our, what comes naturally for me to be angry and mad and, you know, hit something. And, you know, same stuff that my infant son does. It's what his natural reactions are. You have to train yourself not to do that and train yourself not to think that way. And then your reactions become healthier. And that's when you have a broader um, understanding of things. Whenever you can put on the wise lenses and see the full situation okay all right so empathize with her and help her to see the big picture um and secondly whenever you're discouraged whenever i'm discouraged whenever you're discouraged um in general you don't see what you're good at and she doesn't see what she's good at she doesn't see the areas that she's excelling and when she's discouraged all she sees is every area that she is she feels like she's failing um and i say that because I, we have so many girls on the team. We've had so many girls on the team who have had killer um, PRS. They are sponsoring like crazy. I mean, even, I mean, it does not matter what position you are in, ever. When you get discouraged, you cannot see clearly all the things that you're excelling in. We have girls on the team that um, are excelling in leadership, but their PRS might be $75 or something, but their team is just phenomenal and killing it. Um, and it's because of their leadership. So what you do as a leader is you find the areas that they're excelling in and say them out loud to them, you know, share it with them. And, um, because a lot of times you just need that pat on the back that says, you got this, you're okay. Um, and they suck it up. And keep on going. And then sometimes if the discouragement keeps on going and they're just whining, they're going on, they're complaining, and you can't get anything done because your inbox is flooded with them and their negativity. Sometimes you just got to say, you've got to be honest with them and tell them, listen, you can do so well with this business. Um, you have this, this many skills. These are all the skills that you excel at. But if you're going to allow negativity and that mindset to control you, you're going to fail. That's it. And that's the only thing that is keeping you from black status. That's the only thing that's going to keep you from excelling in this business is your mindset and your negativity and your inability to see the big picture here. So either suck it up, but I got, I got stuff to do because I'm moving forward, you know? Um, <laughs> so those are just some things. And then there's... Um, <sighs> There's also presenters that you can give every single um, piece of training, every bit of advice. Um, you can point them in the right direction, but you cannot do this business for them. You cannot drag people along. If they don't want it, you're going to have to just let it go. Um, and keep on moving, keep on sponsoring, keep on moving forward. Um, because you cannot drag somebody to black status. You can't. Either they're going to lead or they're not. Either they're going to run their business or they're not. Um, because I've had people that will message me and have 50,000 questions that I've answered a month ago. And then I'll answer them again. And it goes another month. They do nothing. And then they message me back. And then they have 50,000 questions. And I answer them all. And then they do nothing. <laughs> and it just happens. It's okay. It's completely fine. But you cannot allow that to slow you down from you moving forward. Your job is to make sure that you're running your business on all the different acts. Um, the wheels and the gears and nuts and bolts of your business. So you cannot allow that one 
to detour you um, because it's also discouraging. It can also kind of just cloud your vision and make you negative. So you've got to know when to turn them off. <laughs> so I hope that those that helps if you're dealing with any of that stuff and this hand is just a going. <laughs> but you guys have a fantastic night and love you. Bye.